a minute. I'm pretty sure I can put concrete in that. All right, so what I'm thinking for this project is we can make some sort of a concrete curb or uh, concrete borders out of this for some flower beds or something. Now, uh, you cut these however you want, but uh, they come in 10 foot sections. So if I divide that by three, that means I get three sections that come out to be 40 inches. But I'm going to have one that has two square ends, and then I'm gonna have two that have a square end and a 45 on each end, just with a, a opposing 45 degree angles. These lips, get rid of them, we don't need them. Now, I'm gonna seal up the ends. All right, let's lube it. Let's mix it. Five quarts of water. Ooh, almost forgot. Let's color it. Let's uh, give it more fluidity with the rapid set flow control. And let's pour it. All right, now I, I'm sure you've noticed that I didn't use any kind of metal reinforcement, no rebar, nothing. I just, in short pieces like this, I'm not gonna bother. And, and honestly, if it cracks, I really don't care. It'll just add to the character. But if you do plan on making longer pieces, like the one that I think I'm planning on making for the along the driveway, like a 10 foot piece, I am absolutely gonna put some rebar in there. So. All right, now I'm just gonna let those cure for one hour. Flip them over, demold them, we'll see what we got. I did end up putting some boards underneath the lip because it was so, the concrete was filling it up so much, it started to bow. So I kind of put this underneath to keep it straight. Oh yeah, nice. Not too shabby. Probably gonna make a couple more sets and let's go make something cool with these. Cutting these, super easy too, with a cheap mason blade. So anyway, 
I'm willing to bet that there is a number of different applications that you could use this project for. Uh, for example, a flower bed, or say a border around a vegetable garden, or maybe as a ground contact skirt around your shed that doesn't rot. I'm actually thinking about making 10 foot sections of these things and lining them up along my gravel driveway to kind of dress them up a bit. So, what would you make?